What nonsense is this? Halt, I say. You can't escape from us. Guards, catch that thief. Don't let him run away. Wait, I'll catch this rascal. This thief is quite agile. Hey, boss, we never knew you were so good at head banging. Oh, really? Then let me bang your knuckle heads now. I must say this boy is so strong. Better have some good explanations ready for this, Mister. Huh? Huh? Oh. Hey, huh? he's just a young boy. I will teach this muddy a nice lesson right now. Just wait. Hold on, Kalia. Let's first find out why this boy attempted to steal this amulet. I know how to make him speak. No, wait, Kalia. Let me ask him. You could have easily escaped, but I know for sure mm -hmm. you're not a robber, and you're surely in some kind of trouble. Tell us everything. Maybe we can be of some help to you. <laughs> no, no, don't cry. No one is your enemy out here, and believe me, all of us are going to help you. Take a look. I've come all the way here in search of this thing. <laughs> this is a picture of the same amulet beam. Who are you? And where did you get this from? My name is Dure, and my father gave me this map when our village was attacked. Huh? huh? But who attacked your village, and what for? This is not any ordinary amulet. This is one half of the most powerful amulet on earth. Our village has been guarding this amulet for thousands of years, but a thousand year back, a crook named Zaraku stole this amulet from our village. He misused the powers of this amulet and turned all Africans into his slaves. But one slave didn't accept the slavery. His name was Yuji. Yuji challenged Zaraku for a fight. And their battle went on for many days. Zarakos was much stronger and powerful than Yuji. But Yuji didn't give up, and in his final attack, he broke the amulet into two. And with a loud bang, both the halves of the amulet vanished forever. The secret of finding out and joining the parts of this amulet again has been written down in this map. And my father used to protect this map. To get hold of this secret, Girboro attacked our village. Now, who is this Girboro? He is an evil tribal leader, and he wants to turn the people of Africa into his slaves once again. But this is just half the map. Where is the other half of this? With my younger brother Ganu, my father tore this map into two and gave one half each to both of us. Huh? Um. Uh, so where is your brother now? When Girboro didn't get the map anywhere in the village, he sent his soldiers chasing us in the jungle. My brother Ganu ran away inside the jungle. Girboro's soldiers also followed him into the jungle. I couldn't be of any help to him. I got so so scared. You don't need to be scared anymore, Dure. We'll first find out your brother, and then we'll take care of that Girboro. <laughs> 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 
Don't worry, all of us are there with you in this fight. Now no one can save this Gerbero from us. <laughs> How can I ever stop you kids from doing a good deed? Go ahead, but please be careful. Huh? Yay! On to Mission Africa! <laughs> Our farming device is all set to plow the land and sow the seeds. Kalia, you know something? It starts by pulling this stick. No. This lever will start the device. Just wait and watch, okay? Jagu, the seeds that you have swallowed, they'll grow into huge trees inside your belly. That will be so much fun. <laughs> oh no, Kalia, you always figure out a way to goof up. Oh no, Kalia. <laughs> now, let's try to start the device. <laughs> Device, fruits will blossom, but this kid is awesome. <laughs> yes, that kid is our friend Beam. Come, I will introduce you to all of them. Okay. Hello, kids. How are you all? Greetings, Your Majesty. I'd want you to meet Mr. Ander. Hmm. He's a minister from the Messina Kingdom, and he has specially come from the Icy Kingdom to learn about our farming hmm. and farm <laughs> techniques used. Hmm. I said. <laughs> Mr. Minister, so how is this Messina province? Messina province is beautiful, filled with beautiful people. Soon, Icy Land is going to celebrate Holi, which means bright colors all around. Huh? Huh? Wow, it seems beautiful just by listening about it. I'm sure it will be more beautiful when we go there. We need a device just like this one. We need to finish our farming before the winter arrives. Because it is impossible to do farming in the snow. Take us to Masina province with you. We will teach you how to use this farming machine ourselves. Hold on a minute, Princess Hindumati. Huh? These trolls seem far more dangerous. Oh, Father, Bhim is with me. There is no need to fear. Yes, my lord. Don't you worry. <laughs> we all will look after Princess Indumati. Okay, as you say. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, oh. catch me if you can! Yeah. Hey, give me my peanuts back! <laughs> 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 This 
means the sun will shine and there will be rain too. Finally, there will be some rain in Dholakpur. And then we'll jump up and down in the puddles. What fun! Ah ha ha! Bheem! Children, come, come! Kalia and Dholu Bholu are already here to see my kitchen robot. Huh? Kitchen robot? <laughs> yes. Made of glass, my helper in the kitchen can do so many jobs. Oh, oh, oh can he even scream like Kalia? Oh, oh, oh. oh no, what's this? The robot is out of control. Hey, Dholu Bholu, why are you making him chase me? Oh no! We were just trying to make an omelette for you, boss. <laughs> this way I'll become an omelette myself. Help me! Help me, someone! Help me! Ah. What were you both up to? Nothing. We had only pressed a few buttons. Thank goodness. You did not press all the buttons. <laughs> Is the remote not working properly, Professor Dhun Ketu? No, Bheem. This will not stop now. But we have to stop it, or Kalia will be in danger. Sorry, Professor. I only wanted to stop the robot from hurting Kalia, not break it. I know, Bheem. It's good that this glass is of a different kind and I can fix it. I just need to collect all the pieces. Wow! Look at this, Bheem. It's like a pretty little rainbow. Remember? Uncle was telling us a story yesterday about how the rainbow got made. <laughs> Which story? The story of a very powerful dragon who made a rainbow in the sky. So that he could defeat the cruel Hazak. <laughs> really? Oh. And I thought a rainbow is formed when rays of the sun fall on water droplets and turn direction, and that's when we see the seven colors. Oh. This is something that went over our heads. Huh? As if you both understand everything that you're told. If we did, we would not have been with you. Huh? What did you say? I'll show you both. Actually, now is the right weather for the rainbow to be seen. But for that, it has to rain too. Uh -huh. Huh? What an enjoyable day it was today. I am glad that the professor could reassemble and repair the robot. I think it was quite strange that he too made a reference to the rainbow. First, we heard that old story. Amen. Oh, uh, Sam, I've woken up. Now you go and take. A... Uh -huh. No, Sam. Uh, what happened? Sam is nowhere to be seen. We don't even know the way to Sam's town. Yes, we know. Shadows, unseen, unknown shadows, uh, sh sh shadows of uh, Shinobi. Transcend Samurai Sam. Where is he? We can deliver the message to him. Uh, actually, Sam had gone to fetch us, but just a little while before reaching here, he went off somewhere. Then we must return to the palace and tell His Majesty that uh, we are in fact very good friends of Sam. And we came here to help Sam out. Well, uh, can we go to the palace along with you? Oh yes, why not? Did you manage to deliver my message to Master Yasu San? What did he have to say? My lord, we did go to Master Yasu San's house, but the condition of his health is really very unstable. Hmm. And his grandson Samurai Sam. My lord, uh, well. Sam was with us, Your Majesty. Who are you? I'm Bhim from Dholakpur, Your Majesty, and. These are all my friends. Kid, there would be hardly anyone who has not mm. heard about you. Oh. Your king is really very lucky <gasps> that he has mm. such a brave mm. and courageous little warrior oh. in his kingdom. I don't know what transpired last night that he suddenly vanished like this. Just like the other brave heart samurais of ours. And here the enemy army has already reached our borders. 
As of now, you and your friends will stay at this palace as my guests. Thanks, my lord. Whole of Japan, bow their head in front of my royal crown. Except this adamant eager province. But very soon, this province and its arrogant citizens will be forced to kneel down in front of me, Emperor Hidoi Shin. Long live the emperor! In accordance to your orders, all the mountainous roads leading in and out of the Iga province have been blocked, my lord. Huh? All of you can return to your tents, and nobody should step in here until I summon. I know that you and your squad want to keep yourselves a guarded secret, but there is a limit to everything. But it is due to this secret knowledge of ours that your empire has grown so large overnight. No one in this country has the power of stopping Emperor Hidoishin. That's because we shinobis have taken care of all samurai warriors. All right, agreed. Tell me now, how are all your prisoners? Transformed transformed to the extent that they are not aware tomorrow they are going to attack and finish their own folks and friends. Wow! That's superb! And that special gift of ours, which we had planned for the King of Iga, how about that? Must have reached his palace by now. His Majesty, he is in danger. My Lord, watch out! Guards! <laughs> Tomorrow's dawn will usher in a new reign in Iga. Hey, I think I know this voice. And to do that... <laughs> Sam? Hey! My lord? <laughs> Attackers huh? were from a shinobi squad. Call for the royal doctor right now and get his majesty treated. Beam, was his majesty also attacked? Beam, had you not been here today, then what would have happened to our lord, I just can't imagine. Experiments out there. Oh no! Run! Huh? Huh? But who's doing these experiments? Huh? I am doing them. Look over huh? here. Here. Up huh? here. My name is Raman. Actually, huh? I'm Avi Uncle's nephew, and huh? like him, I'm also an expert in science. Clean up the house. Huh? Clean up the house. <laughs> <gasps> and this huh? is my robot, called Dumbo. Dumbo? Uh, uh, why Dumbo? Because he's an expert in goofing up in every job he does. Clean huh? up the huh? house. Hey, hey, stop it! Hey! Huh? Huh? Clean up the house. Huh? Clean up, clean up, clean up. Uh, huh. But why is he throwing out everything? Because I have given him the order to clean up the house. Clean up, clean up, clean up. Hmm. Only Kalia can fix him up. Clean up the house. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty boy. Clean up, clean up, clean up. What are you doing? Hey! Uh, uh, stop hitting me! <laughs> How do I stop your Dumbo? By pressing off his switch. Huh? Mm -hmm. huh? Oh? Clean up, clean up, clean up. Iron, iron, iron. Oh no! 
He is now going to iron up all the clothes. Mm -hmm. So what's the big problem in that? Well, the problem is Dumbo will also iron those clothes which everyone is already wearing. Mm -hmm. Oh! Hmm? Iron all the clothes. What's this? Help! Leave it! Iron! Iron! Stop! Leave me! Let me go! What are you doing? Leave me! Iron the clothes. No! No! Leave me alone! Iron all the clothes. Iron. This is the button to switch him off. Oh! <laughs> uh, uh, 94! Uh, uh, Looks like boss is going to touch 100 this time. Yes, just like Bheem. <laughs> hey boss, just three more to go. And you will touch 100. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, Raju. Captain Sen, I want to be a great sailor like you. The best in the trade and fearless. You surely can, Raju. Uh, 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 uh. Raju, then you'll have to become like the captain of Valhalla in the name of the seas. The captain of Valhalla? Yes, the greatest and fearless seafaring captain. <sighs> It is said amongst us captains that Valhalla was a cluster of seven islands where such magical ships used to be built which could face any strong wave, any type of sea and all types of thunderstorms. Those used to be even better than this ship of Dholakpur. The ships of Valhalla and their sailors can just not be compared, Raju. Hmm, Valhalla, Valhalla, it must be a myth created by the captains. Yes, a myth. A myth of great captains. <laughs> Move, Raju. What black sea? <laughs> Let me show you what true captain sea is all about. Oh. 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 Uh, uh, the boss is surely going to make us all drown now. Uh, hey, boss. What are you doing? Uh, 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 Everyone take your positions. In the name of the seas, this is going to be a stormy night. Come on, Dolu Bolu! Only the ships of Valhalla can face such a rough storm. Not a ship from Dholakpur. We won't let the ship of Dholakpur drown, Kalia. We are not going to survive. <laughs> <laughs> in the name of the seas, I have never seen such a deadly storm in my career. But Captain Sane, we did not let our ship down. <laughs> a true blue captain never abandons the ship which he is captaining, Raju. Hmm? But where's Raju? What if the storm blew? Nothing can happen to our Raju. Hey guys, come here quickly! Raju! Raju, guys, look at those! 
Bhim, start preparing for anchoring the ship, or else we are going to lose Dolapur Queen. Aye, aye, Captain Sen. <laughs> Pirates, Valkyrie will become the king, won't he? Righty, lefty. <laughs> Greetings, my lord. So, Captain, all set for setting sail? Now, since the winds are favorable, of course. That's great. Never lose hope, Sam. Well, kids, please start right away. Take care of yourself and all the others, Bhim. Sure, my lord. Nani or Shite Masuka? Nani? Sugar? Why do you want a nani to steal sugar from anyone? Oji Sosuke? Sam? Sam! So these two are your friends, huh? Yes, and even them. Hey guys, this is my paternal uncle Sosuke. He's a very renowned chef in Japan. Well, Sam, anyone can guess that from this yummy aroma. Looks like all your friends are very hungry, Sam. Come on, let me first introduce all of them to some local cuisine. Come. Soba and udon are Japanese noodle soup. Noodles are our favorite. We love the loopy loop. And here comes some crispy tempura. They taste so yummy. We may need some extra. Sushi sashimi. Sonkatsu shabu shabu. Now the confusion is with which one we start to. But before you start eating all this food, learning to use the chopsticks would be good. Mmm, mmm. You always keep on lecturing others on etiquettes, Bhim, and you yourself are burping so loudly, huh? Please excuse me, Uncle. No, no, it's okay, Bhim. In fact, your burping is equal to praising my food. Oh, Ishi Katta Desu, the food was really very tasty. Thanks, Uncle Sosuke. I'm happy that you guys liked it. Sam? Well, uh, I wanted to ask you whether there has been any improvement in your grandpa's health or not. Improvement in health? What do you mean? Oh, uh, so you don't know about it. Well, uh, I was traveling. I see. No wonder. Mm. I just got the news yesterday that your town Yagyu faced a deadly attack recently. Huh? Many of the buildings over there have been destroyed. And even huh? the samurai training center wasn't spared. And, and my grandpa? He got injured while he was trying to save the same samurai training center. <sighs> a couple of traders gave me this sad news. This was all I could gather from them. I should have been there to protect him, else this wouldn't have happened. But wasn't that your reason to come to Dholakpur, Sam? Don't lose heart. We'll reach and help out your grandpa very soon. Uncle, mm -hmm. can you get us a few horses to reach to Yagyu quickly? Mm. Yes, I can. Osaka is one of the most important cities of Japan, kids. There are so many beautiful monuments and places out here that they are worth visiting. And hey kiddos, just look at this. This is one of the oldest or you can say ancient temples of Japan. Sumiyoshi Taisha. <laughs> Come. What are these, uncle? Lamps made of stone. There are 600 such lamps or lanterns out here. This is Istaisha. 
the most important section of this temple. Due to its unique design and stunning ancient architecture, this temple is considered as one of the prime national monuments of Japan.